Hello, meal gardeners. I'm Rebecca, the content manager, here with our in-house nutritionist, Erin Madden. Hey, everyone. So um, we're going to talk today about weight loss supplements. Yes. And, um, yes. So um, since Erin is a nutritionist, she has all the knowledge about this, and I'm a little curious myself. So um, I, yeah, I guess let's dive in. Sounds good. All right. So um, I guess first question I have for you is, so in, the, in a world where we can exercise, eat right, get enough sleep, take good care of our bodies, why should we use weight loss supplements? Weight loss supplements are great because they can kind of help compensate what you might not be getting from your own food and to kind of give you that, that temporary boost of energy that people need in order to kind of feel a little bit more motivated. Uh, maybe if you are like, if you have like an early morning workout, uh, maybe taking something with high, with a little bit of caffeine and some herbs that can help boost your energy levels might kind of get you that motivation that you need in order to get to the gym so you can yeah. burn more calories when you're when you're there and then come home feeling a lot more uh, feeling great that you you went to that workout as opposed to like hitting that snooze button and going back to bed <laughs> yeah right okay so it's a, it's a kind of little extra push definitely that need to stay on track and people feel more motivated when they know that they have something extra other than like food right. and fitness. It's like there's there's always um, like a huge array of supplements on the market. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I wonder if there's a psychological element of weight loss supplements a little bit too, because it's easy to take a weight loss supplement maybe with your vitamin every morning. And then you kind of get in the mindset of, you know, I'm going to have a healthy day today. And so maybe yeah. I'm more likely to eat well and go on a walk. So definitely. And, um, like I take supplements myself and I always find that I remember to take them like first thing in the yeah. morning breakfast so it's definitely a psychological it gets you into that routine or that habit of of taking um something every day nice yeah sure um mm. so next, like so what should someone look for then in a weight loss supplement um is there anything people should avoid yeah, definitely. So you always want to choose the best supplements by reviewing them thoroughly. There's, as you know, there's tons of supplements out on the market and um, there's going to be a lot of companies that might seem like they're making unrealistic claims. So it's mm. so important that you kind of do the research before you actually buy. So you're making, mm. so you know that you're, you're buying a good quality supplement. Um, uh, I've worked in the supplement industry for about six years and you know people would come in and ask for these supplements that have no claims to them whatsoever, yeah. whatsoever because they heard them on tv you know like there's um there's all these advertisements um trying to promote the supplement and you have to understand that companies do not have your health um at interest yeah. uh they all they want to do is just make that quick buck and if it involves you know having a high markup with adding cheap quality like ingredients you know they're going to where they're going to be able to profit from that very easily. Um, it's yeah, so important sure. not to get um, over like wrapped up in what um, is on the bottle itself because marketers can have these yeah. very, like <laughs> big bold letters of, of uh -huh. how great the product is like hydroxy cut burn fat in burn 10 pounds in seven days like in oh yeah days. yeah <laughs> I yeah, know try to get you in there yeah absolutely <laughs> and um, and uh, being able to um, like uh, uh, see the the bottle and not uh, realize that you're not going to look like some bikini model just because right. of a, um, a bikini model that's been photoshopped multiple times. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so there's um, so uh, you have to kind of understand that there's tricks of the trade. Companies really want to sell you something, and you know they're they're willing to spend lots of money on that product to make it very appealing to the consumer. And yeah. you know who's who's going to read that disclaimer that uh, with like, right. tiny little letters at the bottom <laughs> where it says that combined with diet and exercise, you're going to lose weight. <laughs> now you need to get a magnifying glass just to read it at the bottom. Uh, sure. It's yeah. so true. Absolutely. So bottom line is um, don't get wrapped up in what the claims are saying. Um, don't uh, get... Uh, 
don't get excited if you see like a doctor endorses this product because yeah. well doctors are paid to yeah. uh, <laughs> to promote these products they don't understand anything what's going on in them and um and um always do your research before you buy that is one of the most crucial steps um look at the ingredient list that you see mm. um see, see what the like scientific literature has behind them and yeah. you know look at the company's reputation um like research the company itself see if they have good or bad reviews because that can also definitely help make an informed decision yeah for sure mm. um yeah so um with that in mind so you know now we've done our research we know what the ingredients are in a given supplement um so i guess my next question then is so how do they work right because like we know that eating well and exercising mm -hmm. you know there's there's the whole you know when you exercise you're moving your body and burning calories um so, but weight loss supplements, are they just like, you know, nutritional supplements? Is that what they are? Are they like that, a vitamin? That's so pretty much work? what they are. Like they act okay. in many ways to reduce your body weight. Uh, some try to speed up the metabolism because they have so much amounts of caffeines. Uh, some stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps to increase more hormone production. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's absolutely. Uh, some claim to stimulate the muscle in burning uh, sugars or glucose, um, which can yeah. also help with, with weight loss. Uh, and that's all usually vitamins and minerals, uh, herbal supplements that have some research behind behind them as, as well. Um, there are some supplements that have effect on uh, producing more heat or speeding up your metabolism, which is um, like, wow. ag again, trying to burn more calories. Um, and weight loss is, you know, um, is a math of, um, um, or is a formula of, you know, uh, you'll burn the more calories you burn um, and, you know, the less you eat, you can lose weight that way. Um, or calories in and calories out is the equation. So, you know, a lot of them yeah. are just full of energy stimulants to kind of help increase your metabolism. So you are burning a lot more calories. Um, a lot of chromium based weight loss supplements can, um, are, um, are in many products and it can actually some of them um, can actually be da uh, dangerous as they may actually damage the genetic materials in the cell so this is kind of where you need to um, do some research to make sure that it is a safe supplement for you okay so avoid chromium Yes. <laughs> and you have to understand, <laughs> and you have to understand that um, a lot of the weight loss supplements, they are untested. So they're not regulated by the FDA. Wow. They're okay. Proven. Yeah. And yeah. Um, they're, they're neither effective or safe. So, you know, you always want to make sure that you are making informed decisions. Uh, it's um, if you're unsure about uh, like, about researching yourself, it's always yeah. good to talk to a healthcare professional that does okay. have a research um, that supplement background. Uh, naturopathic doctors, I find, are very knowledgeable in okay. um, supplements, um, and they nice. can kind of kind of point to you where the uh, uh, what the research says with a lot of common supplements. Nice. So you mentioned the, you know like there are different ways that weight loss supplements work. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, bodies are different bodies yeah. are unique. Is there a certain weight loss supplement that might work better for you and not as well for me and vice versa? Because that every body is very different, uh, there's no way th um, to know like what supplement is going to work for each and every one of you. Um, it's just, it's good to know which supplements are um, proven out there. Like uh, one of my favorite is collagen. Um, yeah. Yeah, and collagen is basically like a protein um, in normal foods that we actually get from um, from eating pr uh, from protein. Uh, collagen is great for muscle building, um, and uh, it can also help as a um, uh, laxative. And um, uh, there's also other great ways to help incorporate more collagen. It's also another be good benefit is that it's good for skincare and many yeah. other things. So, um, so uh, it's you, um, I find that collagen is like one of like the latest fads now uh, when Pretty it comes sure. to <laughs> weight loss and and also for for skincare and many other things. So um, it's um, 
when, when um, I'm always approached on, well, you know, is this supplement going to work for me? And the answer is, I, I don't know. I can't give you that answer because everyone is going to react differently. We can't um, avoid genetics. Um, if someone yeah. um, has a much slower metabolism than like your next door neighbor, for example, right. it's all going to uh, work differently for everyone. So is that a trial and error situation or ask your doctor situation or both? <laughs> it's a trial and error situation or ask your doctor. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, doctors, um, um, I always want to uh, mention that they're not the best um, in, um, influencers when it comes to uh, supplements because yeah. they don't really understand a lot. Um, like they promote the pharmaceutical industry. For sure. <laughs> so, but yeah. you can always bring up the subject to the doctor and maybe the doctor, you know, can just say, I, I think you, it doesn't hurt to try it. Or you might, um, he might just say, you know, talk to someone else other than myself. <laughs> yeah. And as you mentioned before, you talk to you and talk to a nutritionist, nutritionist got your back, right? Yeah, so. absolutely. So a lot of the times they might just refer to a nutritionist dietitian yeah. because they, they might have a little bit more information on supplements or like I recommend naturopathic doctor because they do actually do quite a bit of training in, in supplements yeah. as well. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, can low calorie sweeteners be considered a weight loss supplement? Is that in the same category or is that just an aid? Is that just going to help that, us along a little bit? Yeah. So low calorie sweeteners are, um, just an aid. So basically, okay. um, it reduces the caloric content of a food. And the main advantage of these sweeteners is that they are approved by the FDA for safety. So they are considered, um, a food supplement, um, or a food substance. Um, okay. and, uh, um, they are um, therefore regulated, so that means that you can actually be, uh, be uh, they're safely used for children and pregnant women as well. So you know, like a lot of supplements on the market are untested on children and pregnant women. So you'll always see those claims that say, you know, um, uh, avoid if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or children under eighteen, because a lot of them. Um, uh, we, we don't have enough research on if these supplements are harmful to, um, to certain, um, uh, uh people. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm. So you mentioned earlier about thermogenic fat burners. How yes. do those work? What is that? Is that just so, burn? Does it just burn fat? Oh yeah. <laughs> so these supplements raise the temperature of your body and therefore increase the number of calories burned. That's Whoa. the whole idea. Yeah, that sounds intense. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so these have been proven successful and effective in weight loss. Uh, like other weight loss supplements, these have to be used moderately and not abused. So I always yeah. suggest to recommend um, to use the uh, suggested dosage that it has. So you're not um, you're not going overboard because you know when you're taking th fat burners or like any type of weight loss supplements you do have that potential of losing sleep because well if you take them too late at day uh, too late in the day and a lot of them are caffeinated you're not you're not going to be able to have that good restful sleep which is also important as part of like the weight loss equation right. um, nice. so, yeah so, so short-term usage of these thermogenic uh, weight loss supplements are have been proven to be successful and result in good weight loss. Um, it, these are never good for the long-term use just because it can stress out your body. And there has been times when long-term use, um, your body can kind of get used to a certain um, uh, pill or even uh, uh, a certain substance where it just, um, you know, where every, where you're not seeing the results. Um, there has been cases where I would um, see clients and they said that they would take the suggested dosage. And then after three months, they would, their bodies would just kind of get used to them. And then they would double up on the dosage to kind of get more of a, a more wow, of an energy yeah. effect. So yeah, so that could actually be harmful if you're, um, if you try to take more than what it suggests. Yeah, I imagine so. So, mm. uh, and so tell us more about fiber supplements then. Is this, are they marketed as just, you know, added fiber in your diet or is, is there something different or special about weight loss supplements that have fiber in them? Yeah. So fiber is, um, one of the uh, most popular natural weight loss supplements. Uh, it's good because like it's non-stimulant and because that it's right. recommended that we get at least 25 to 30 grams of fiber. If someone might hate fruits yeah. and vegetables or eating a lot of foods, it, <laughs> 
with fiber in it. So fiber can definitely help kind of get your, um, increase your fiber intake. And fiber is known for weight loss because it helps with making you feel more fuller throughout the day. It helps keep your blood sugars regulated. So, um, which can also aid in weight loss. Um, and generally, um, uh, fiber can also help with keep with um, helping you um, uh, maintain healthy bowel movements as well. So we do need fiber to promote better digestion, which For in turn sure. stimulates the contractions of your intestine. So, um, so these supplements are very um, easy to take. Um, you know, just kind of throw them into smoothies or even soups and nice. stews. And you know, if wow. you um, put them into your food, they act as thickeners. So you know, oh cool, flour. <laughs> use yeah. Use a, a fiber supplement like the psyllium seed husk. <laughs> oh, very cool. I didn't even know that. That's yeah, really exactly. Cool. Um, yeah. You want to be careful though. Um, the problem with taking fiber in concentrated forms um, is that too much can actually cause diarrhea or nausea. And mm -hmm. sometimes you might become dependent on fiber supplements for bowel regulation. So, wow. so you, you want to kind of take breaks of um, uh fiber every so often to just kind of get okay. your body kind of working again um because on its own yeah so like with any supplement your body can get dependent on a certain one so you want to kind of take a break after a couple of months of use and then just see how if your body can kind of normalize on its own and then um uh, go back on it if you find that you need to use it again so pretty much all weight loss supplements should yeah. be used a little bit, a little bit intermittently. So how long should somebody use them, and then when should they start kind of maybe yeah, even so switching or yeah. I, I suggest um, uh, after two or three months of using a supplement, uh, take a break um, for a couple of weeks, see how you feel, and um, you know if you are um, not feeling. Uh, as what you should um with with any like supplements are there to supplement from like what you're not getting from your diet so i always tell people you know always um, look at what you're eating for food. If you're eating junk food yeah. all day long, expect a thermogenic to help you burn fat and you're not seeing, you're not losing weight and you're not getting right. enough energy, then you might really want to assess your diet. Same thing yeah. with fiber. Um, with um, uh, If your uh, bowels aren't working um, after um, a couple weeks of discontinuing your fiber, um, try to look for other ways to increase your fiber instead of relying on a supplement. Um, always, You always want to look um, to see what you are um what you're eating for for food um as well as making sure you're incorporating lots of exercise um to make sure that you are um staying healthy and it's you know like diet and exercise will act as more of a safe and effective weight loss than being um uh, than, than supplement use in the long run okay great yeah. i have one more question for you before we wrap up Definitely. Um, so who should take weight loss supplements? Yeah. So anyone that is looking to kind of get um, a boost of energy into your life, um, someone that already has like a good control over your nutrition habits mm. and diet. So, you okay. know, I wouldn't expect someone to take a weight loss supplement if they're already eating crap. Okay. Um, yeah. And right. someone who has, is on medication, um, who has health conditions, uh, because a lot of them are full of caffeine, um, are full of caffeine. So someone who is obese might feel um, like their heart is racing all the time. Oh, yeah. um, so it's always important there for you need to kind of check with your doctor to make sure that okay. you have a perfect bill of health that would actually be a good time to really see um ask if uh, if a weight loss supplement is safe but if someone is already healthy and they're just kind of looking for that uh, added boost then definitely um a, sub a weight loss supplement can certainly kind of help kick things up well, that's, that's great. So thank you. Um, so where can people learn more about you and your nutrition business? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, my website is balancedmealplans.ca. So triple W dot balance, B-A-L-A-N-C-E-D, mealplans, M-E-A-L-P-L-A-N-S dot C-A. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Balanced Meal Plans is my business page. And um, like all my contact information is there. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to send me an email. I'm always happy to, to answer answer questions and yeah <laughs> all right awesome well thank you for enlightening us today Erin
and You're welcome to all you meal gardeners out there see you later <laughs> all right